All right, hope everybody's doing well. I'm just catching up on the last three or four or five days of, of stuff and mail that came in, and it really isn't very much. I'm There's not even really that much to make a video with, but uh, I'm still working on my pre-Black Friday COMC. I put in $20 or something like that, $20 or $25, and I just imagine if I went to the LCS, the amount of gas and the... Um, and my purchase, you know, on uh, that I would do would probably be close to that, and I get to pick whatever I want. And I'm a bargain shopper, but unfortunately, a lot of the bargain cards just don't move. Maybe there's so many copies of them, but you know, like um, I'm looking at 57 tops, and there's some really pretty rough examples, and they just don't seem to move. Even at 63 cents a card is one of the cheaper ones here, 79, 81, 81, 87. Then of course, when you go to eBay, you can find you know 57 tops for a dollar. Um, but you just have to be there at the right moment. There was one that was a dollar free shipping and it was really amazing condition, but it was already purchased, you know, and that was just an anomaly there. And a lot of them um, have bids on them regardless of their condition. So it's like, you know, do you want to fight somebody over a card or just get one off a of COMC? But again, a lot of these players, Mo Drabowski, Valdivizio, Gromek, um, Zouchin and Boyd, I have all those cards. So, it's, so it just works out to where all the bargain ones here, Jim King, already have them, Zuvernink, Blazing Game, Klein, uh, I think I have Rivera, I believe I have Aber, I might have Tom Morgan, I have Don Elston, so it's like every single Dixie Howell I have him, Silvera I have it, Turk Lown I have that one, so yeah, it's just one of those, Gus Zernio I think I may actually have that one, Herb Plews actually I don't have. But when you look at a 98 cents, that's not the card you're getting. You might get a random one. Let's look up Herb Plews really quickly here. And see, there's Herb Plews. So there's the one I think they showed in the, the very off-center but in very good condition. That's what always bugs me is like somebody saved us in this amazing condition. Um, um, but it's really off-center. So sometimes the centering is worth more than the actual condition of the card. So they'll call that a poor condition card, even though somebody took amazing care of it. That's just how Tops basically gave it to the customer. And so it's Tops is onus is on Tops, not the customer. So you should credit the customer for keeping it that mint. But see this one here, you know, somebody might get a better grade. You just never know. It's bizarre. It was really icky condition with dirty borders there. And then there's some sort of warping and some sort of goo on the back there. So I don't really want that. It's better than some of them I have, but anyway. So let's just go back to here, and I'll show you what came in the mail today. Uh, so this, this came in the mail today. The unique, per the unique periodical, Salem, Omsville, State, and Sublimity. And just, um, just you get specials off of estate planning and, and lighting, and uh, uh, I don't know what root is, some sort of heating place, and just all kinds of that fun stuff. Gaggle heating and air conditioning. Roofing, siding, it's all if you just need to have a new you have a new house and need it all rebuilt or something, I don't know. And then here's 20% off tree service and Figaro's Pizza. Oh my gosh, the pizza's gone way down in quality. I just can't stand Figaro's Pizza. I'd much rather to go to grocery outlet, spend 3 to $5 on a pizza and get a better quality pizza. Um, and that's just how it is. Uh, this came in the mail, I think, yesterday or the day before, and this is the only other piece of mail in the last three or four days, ANK, I forgot what that stands for, but they're not there. Wrong address, Miss Amanda Engber, Mandy Engber was in Cheers and uh, played one of the Tortellis. Um, so that is a return to send efficient address unable to forward, blah, blah, blah. So who knows? But somebody says wrong address or return to sender forward, blah, 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 junk. So that is basically it. I just got a blurb that has no value and I got a return to sender that has no value. Um, I did pick up this at the, the Goodwill bins and they were kind and only charged me $5. This is the Rift Tracks Toxic Box. Caution hilarious material. If you don't know Rift Tracks, they're essentially, uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000, and it came in this lunchbox here. I think the only thing that's missing is like the uh, special edition sticker uh, that came out of it. Um, but we have four films, and normally it's 220, 229 per disc, so that would be two, four, six, eight, almost nine dollars or something. But they charged me five. Attack of the Super Monsters. We have Suburban Sasquatch and Rift Trox Socket Toxic Short Spill. And your is somewhere around here, Y-O-R. So I don't know where that is. 
Um, so that is what the main thing that I picked up at the bins. I picked up a few other small things like some little accessories and some uh, Christmassy writing paper here. A nice whole pad of that. Probably cost me 50 cents for that. I don't know what that would have cost me. Perhaps even a dollar, but it was still worth it because if you're looking for this kind of stuff, and that's an awful lot of writing on there. And that goes on on my uh, TTMs, which I probably won't be doing very many until the stamp show next weekend. I'm not sorry, next weekend. Uh, December 3rd and 4th is when the stamp show is. Stamp and coin show. There's other things that go on there too, but it's basically stamps and coins. And I picked up some books here. I don't have all of them here. Uh, oh yeah, I do. 101 Bossy Cow Jokes. This was uh, 25 cents at the local thrift store. These do not leave the shelves. The books do not leave the shelves. 25 cents for paperback. So somebody could spend 10 bucks and clear off a half of a shelf. Or a whole entire shelf. And, and then they would have room for more books. But these books do not leave. I mean, Goodwill dumps them in there. And then a mountain of books leave during the day. And a mountain of books gets carried away. So the books don't stay for one day. But these will stay for years until somebody buys it. Primary colors, novel of politics. I might actually read some of this. The Bossy Cow Jokes is really pretty good. The Redwoods, that's really pretty cool. I was thinking a postcard. thought maybe I could rip that off and use that for a postcard, but I'm going to keep the book. It's kind of a cool book. Uh, probably from the 60s. Um, who knows? Um, maybe the 50s. And it's got some cool fo color photographs in there. So I thought that was a pretty fun book to grab. It's just kind of an unusual paperback there. And then this one here is... Um, C.S. Lewis, um, Prince Caspian. It's really falling apart. It's a very um, kind of old, well-loved 70s paperback. But unfortunately, I thought thought maybe that might make a good postcard, but I think it's kind of the wrong size. It might be frowned upon doing that. That's the thing. You always have to find things for repurposing. This is a, a, maybe a sort of a reading copy. Oh, there's something inside there. Let's see what we got here. I can get to it here. There's a note here. Ah, uh, Dinia Andrews' new music for, oh, I guess, I think that was a book that somebody wanted to get, or, have, I think there was another bookmark in here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, maybe that was it. Yeah, sometimes, you know, you find bookmarks in old books here, and fortunately that was nothing. I found one football card one time from the 70s in a book. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this or do something with this, but um, it's not a first edition. If this was a first edition, I'd certainly be keeping it. Uh, so there is that. So really nothing much to, to write home about. Again, I will have a ComC video in a number of weeks, probably three or four weeks. Four weeks more like, maybe five weeks. It depends on how, how when uh, uh, they ship do their shipping there. But um, it's just really thin on the Internet. A lot of content, a lot of people not making content, a lot of fewer videos from our buddies and that is what I have for you that's all I can come up with for practically most of the week I think was it Saturday or Monday was pretty good but since then it was just been zilch so thank you for watching